Okay guys, so it's uh, pretty much daytime. So I'm gonna stop working on my house and continue my scavenging of materials and supplies. <clears throat> wow, look at this uh, little bunny playtime pen. It's pretty funny. Okay, so... I'm just gonna, I guess, go to the right for now. I need to get some more wood because I'm almost out and I need a lot more for more rooms and for wood walls as well as other tools like chairs and uh, benches. <clears throat> so if you guys um, are wondering how you make like potions, uh, you need to have like a bottle or a vase. And to make a bottle, you just need sand, and a vase need mud. So if you find mud first, then you might as well make a vase and put it on a crafting table, and that will be counted as like an alchemy uh, thing as well. So you, you'll be able to make potions. Um, see, like these little tunnels here. Uh, it's uh, advised to follow them because, like. Maybe not as far as they go, but at least to like check them out because as you can see I saw like five or something pots and they gave me items that are gonna help me a lot. Like I'll show you this one. I can't really pronounce it properly, but it's called like a shuriken. And it's basically like a ranged weapon. Uh it's used after you use like throw it, but it's really strong. Like I just one shot the green slime. Um, it's not really advisable to use them, at least right now, because, uh, I don't know, the green slimes aren't really much of a threat anyway. Unless you're, like, really new to the game. It's also important to have a lot of torches, because you're going to need to put them on the ground in order to see what's in caves. See, all these pots are giving me a lot of things like torches, actually, that's pretty good. I didn't make a lot. Okay, so... When you're here... Um, keep an eye out for iron ore, copper ore, silver ore, gold ore, or even like topaz and sapphire. Um, this is uh, a stone block. This isn't rare or anything, so I'm not going to mine this because I have <clears throat> a si like a lot right now and I don't really need it except for a few tools and supplies and maybe for stone walls. But uh, yeah, when you're mining around... Always gonna look out for copper and items like that. They're basically, they look like stone uh, blocks, but they're just different color, basically. Okay, so there's two jellies right here. A green one and a blue one. They're not that strong, so I'm not scared of them. I'm not scared of you. Oh, shit. Should have put down a torch first. Okay, so as you can see, there's a hidden <laughs> a chest in water, and over here there's some copper ore. So I'm just gonna open the chest first. Oh, sweet! There's uh, I'm not sure what this is. Amethyst. I can't really pronounce that. Um. So yeah, <clears throat> there's uh, a lot of gems here. Um. I forget ex the exact uses for gems. Oh, sweet. Uh, blowpipe? Nice. Uh, blowpipes are uh, range weapons that you use uh, seeds f to shoot things with. Uh, they're pretty good when you're starting out. Um, I'm pretty glad I found them right away. And then there's arrows. Sweet. I have a lot of bottles and three lesser potions. Um, for hotkeys, if you press H, you use like potions and I think M is for mana but I might be wrong <clears throat> so I just took the chest because 
I'm just gonna put the chest in my house so I can put like tools and uh, like I guess rare supplies in there. Oh, there's a lot of copper ore. This is gonna be really good. Uh, you can use copper ore to smelt if you have a forge to smelt armor and uh, like things like pickaxes and swords. But you start out with uh, I'm gonna block this off. You start out with copper tools like a hatchet and things like that so you don't really need to make another pickaxe that's basically like a waste of the copper um copper is basically like the weakest uh ore <clears throat> so if you find like silver ore and you have like copper armor on and you can make silver armor i would do so because silver armor is a lot more strong um i'm pretty sure it goes copper Iron and then silver and then gold. So I would still mine copper ore at least until you have full copper armor <clears throat> because it's still useful. So I found a little cave here in the pot, but I don't think there's anything else. And it's good to like scout around the area with a torch so if you like you can to see if there's like any Val valuable ores or gems in the walls and I'm just gonna follow this stone path because it looks promising and that slime over there is having a interesting bath and it's also important to put down torches not only so that you can see but it's almost like it like allows you to know where you've like where you've been and it allows you a path to get home and it's also important to have uh, a way to like be able to reach upstairs I guess like to be able to get back to where you uh, from it's really easy to uh, die in these caves if you get surrounded by enemies or if you accidentally fall down a hole the hurt, the hurt damage like from falling will can be sometimes enough to hurt you like right here I don't know how far this goes it's pretty far actually so I'm gonna build over here because I noticed that it's a much uh, lower drop. So I probably won't get any fall damage. Just gonna check again, yet. Yeah, I'm not gonna get any fall damage. And as you can see, there's a blinking uh, root. <laughs> it's actually called blink root. <laughs> so these are useful for. <clears throat> potions um, I'm pretty sure it's used in the swiftness potion which makes you a bit faster I think like 20% and I'm pretty sure it's also used in the potion that allow, uh, allows you to see in the night so you don't need torches for like four minutes but you also need other items which are I'm pretty sure a lot more rare I saw the golden chest down. I'm just gonna check around here first. <clears throat> so I see sand, so I'm just gonna. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Sand, um, like in Minecraft, it falls down, so don't like stand directly beneath a large pile of sand because it can hurt you like it did to me. Um, I'm just gathering some sand now because I'm gonna. It's good for making bottles and like other glass and like windows, like glass things if you use the sand in the forge. So I'm making a path for the sand to fall through, which is a smart idea. Okay, I'm not gonna go there right now, I'm just gonna get the... Oh, that's where the slime is, okay. I'm gonna go get the golden chest now. Um, You don't have to, but I like using the hammer to 
get the chest, like, so I can use it later in my house, because, I don't know, it's a golden chest, like, it's pretty sick. And if you guys hear that music, that usually means there's like a rare item around you. Oh man, 69 silver, that's uh, a lot, and... Okay, this is a really good chest. I've never actually had a chest better than this. I actually had a, a lot of bad luck. So there's an archery potion. Increase arrow speed and damage by 20% and a lot of torches. I got 8 silver bars which is a really good start but I'm really impressed by the 69 silver. I have never had anything like that and the boots which is going to make me run super fast which is I'm pretty sure they're really... I'm not sure but I think they're really rare. And I'm going to enjoy having them. Uh, I've never had these boots before, actually. And having them at the start, like I did, like finding them at the start, uh, it's really uh, lucky. So you guys, uh, give me luck. You guys are my friends. I'm basically following the... the noise. But I should get up out of this soon, because I still have to finish my house. It's pretty cool how they made like jumping blocks already. I didn't have to make that. And I have to make the room for the merchant, because as I said, once you have 50 silver coins, then he's ready to be able to uh, have moved in. So I still have to make a room for him. So actually, yeah, right now I'm just gonna leave. I already marked off but with torches where I still need to go. Um, I guess this way is gonna be the best way to come back out. As you can hear that noise. I'm just gonna quickly check this area out. Okay, now it's just some copper ore, but I'll get that later. It's surrounded by sand, which is... The worst thing ever for it to be surrounded by right now because you can't just dig through it because sand from above you can fall on you and kill you. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. See these two different walls? This is like a rocky wall and this is like a purely dirt wall. For the dirt wall, you uh for, for example, for the rocky wall, you can't place dirt blocks anywhere you want. You have to have them from, like, a place. Like, from a place that already has items on it. But for this purely dirt wall, you can place dirt blocks wherever you want. So it's really easy to be able to, like, make... Like, to design a place so you can easily get out. Like, steps. Okay, so... Here's another cool area I didn't search yet, so I'm just gonna mark it like this, I guess, to remember, and also I guess it's four stepping blocks. Okay, so it's already dark, well, right about to be dark. Oh, there's a falling star, and my guide likes to open doors. Oh, uh, it's kind of funny, because the guide tells you to stay inside. But he himself opens doors and like gets you killed like right now because he's an asshole Get out get out of here, man. No one wants you So what I like to do I like to block the door so he can't open it Um, I have no idea where my bunnies went I guess they found another owner They're assholes. Okay guys, so it's dark right now, so this is the perfect time to stop the episode, and I hope you guys liked it. Um, and I hope you guys will stay tuned for uh, my next episode. Thanks guys, see ya. Peace out.